Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Right now we Hello. are <laughs> we, <laughs> we are chilling here with Maya and as often I go through comments I see questions like how to find my soul mission, how to find my soul purpose. So how often you're wondering like how to find your soul purpose you're maybe you're at the job which you don't uh, feel truly fulfilled doing it or you can't find a hobby or something which would be recharging you which could be fulfilling you so often i receive questions how to find a soul mission a soul purpose how to connect with that inner calling which is guiding us towards the direction which is fulfilling our lives which is bringing us the greatest possible experiences for for which our souls came here to experience them to to gain this most important lesson so so once we will leave this earth or this dimension behind, we'll be able to ascend to the greater level of being. So we always feel naturally drawn into certain specific directions. Like not all of us are drawn into art, not all of us are drawn into filming videos and expressing ourselves that way, not all of us are drawn to you know fixing cars or or pipes or you know uh, building houses or or gardening or <laughs> whatever it is my smiling here because <laughs> she understands that i will not build houses and not fix my car so it's your job <laughs> it's not my job <laughs> yeah but but you know all of us <laughs> feel naturally drawn into something i felt naturally drawn into expressing myself through paintings into expressing myself through filming videos and that's where i found my authenticity that's where i found uh, the you know the source of my light that's where i found why why i came here and what is my mission here so i want to encourage you my friends to every single day take time in a day to reconnect back with yourself and just pay close attention to like in what kind of direction you feel more naturally drawn to and how to know that you are feeling naturally drawn into that direction well the first thing you can recognize that the soul is guiding you into that direction is that you don't feel any need to show up as somebody you don't feel any need to please somebody you don't expect any anything in return for for doing that that's how you know that your soul is guiding you into that direction as soon as you feel a need to show up as somebody as soon as you feel a need to please somebody as soon as you start um, expecting something in return that's where your ego starts guiding you ego always want you know to see certain results immediately ego always want to show others like you're better like you're stronger you're uh, wiser or whatever but soul is just gently guiding us towards the things where we feel um, the most authentic us the soul is always guiding us um, into the directions where where we just feel alive where we just feel oh that's the thing i came here to do like you know every time for me when i'm painting i just lose myself in it i'm not thinking what i will receive in return how many paintings i will sell and and, and so on that's what is happening automatically because i'm doing i'm walking purposefully and you know we stop caring what will we receive in return we set the intentions well i want to receive this in return for my service i want to receive the specific things in return let's say you're struggling with finances and you say the intentions well in in return for my service for walking with my purpose i want to experience financial abundance and the universe will provide so you set the intention 
right? But you're not worrying when things will appear because the universe will always bring you things just at the right time. So, my friends, if you are struggling to find your soul mission, to find your soul purpose, focus on the things you love to do without any expectation, without any need to show up, without any need to please others, without any need to prove yourself to others. Focus on the things your soul is calling you to do, like truly naturally. For some of you, it will be gardening. And, and some people are wondering, well, how can I make a living out of that thing? Well, as soon as you will dedicate most of your time and most of your energy into doing that, you will find ways to make a living out of it. Right now, at this, um, at this present timeline, we are working with money. We need money to survive and you will find a way to make money with it. The universe will provide. You can write down the exact idea of, of how much of money you would like to receive in return for your service and the universe will provide. Just don't, don't focus on how things will happen and when things will happen. Focus on serving. Focus on always following that what feels natural to you. And you will see everything will work in your favor because the universe always conspires to make things happen for you when you know what you want and when you are following your soul call, your soul calling, your soul mission. So now you know, my friends, often it's hard to connect with that soul calling because we are lost in the minds. And we are only lost in the minds when our brains are, as neuroscientists are calling it, in a high beta brainwave state. That's where we are stressed out, when we are overanalyzing our lives, overthinking, overcalculating. And it's nothing wrong with that. That's why we have brains. That's why we have our minds. But we also need to learn to step outside of our minds to calm down our brains we need to learn to meditate we need to learn to connect with nature we need to learn to spend more time in nature because that's where we step back into our natural state and that's where we gain that ability to hear our our like the voice of our souls the voice of our hearts. That's where brain will go back into the alpha brainwave state and later into theta brainwave state where you will feel completely relaxed. That's the state we experience while we are meditating. And you will learn to get into that state if you will do that consistently. The nature is always rewarding consistency. The universe is always rewarding consistency. So stay consistent with that work. That's why we never receive manifestations as soon as we want them. Because the universe is rewarding consistency. You need to know that. If you will stay consistent with, consistent with your dreams, goals, passions, you will be rewarded for that. So keep up, my friends, doing your thing, keep shining, keep up expressing yourself, keep following your truth. And may all the healing, you know, all the, the process of letting go of the concepts and beliefs which are telling to us that it's not true, that it's not possible, that we are not good enough, may that process be as easy for, as easy as possible for you, so you can completely let go of all those false limitations and you can fully emerge as the true self, the self that you are meant to be. So this is it, my friends. I'm sending you lots of love, lots of blessings and lots of power. Have a beautiful day and till next time, one love.